Chronic pain is exhausting from the second our eyes open until we drift off or pass out sleeping. Joan Barron qualified for Minnesota's medical marijuana program due to intractable pain from a car accident that left her with permanent injuries. But she says thousands more could be helped if chronic pain were added to the list. My fear is that these patients will go to the illicit market for their medications. Advocates argue the opioid crisis is fueled in part by people who could get relief from medical cannabis. I've been on the program for the last five years and in the last five years I've not taken any opioid painkillers. Roughly 17,000 Minnesotans are enrolled in the program. Here's the list of the 15 conditions it covers. Of these intractable pain is the most common reason. But Minnesota bets get no benefit from the state program if they can't get on it or afford the medication. A coalition under the name of Sensible Minnesota has filed a petition with Health Commissioner Jan Malcolm, who has the power under law to add new conditions. But they're asking Governor Walls to throw his support to the idea as well. Anything we can do to the state program that would make it more affordable, more accessible for the veterans of Minnesota, has to be done and it has to be done now. The petition process for adding chronic pain started last summer. Since then, it's been reviewed by the health department staff and a citizen panel. Commissioner Jan Malcolm is expected to make her final ruling in two weeks. From St. Paul, I'm John Croman.